Shalom and welcome to OCN, your favorite 24-hour Christian television station. My name is Minister Catherine. I'm your host for the program called Global Missions. Let me start with the prayer. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you this opportunity to be used by you through this medium to share the good news to all those who doesn't know you yet, my Father, in the name of Jesus. And, I, I, and as I minister to this programming, I pray that the people... People's heart will be, ho will be open and their eyes of understanding be illuminated through your word, my Father, in the name of Jesus, that they will receive your word through this programming. And whatever word that comes out of my mouth is from you, my Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm just honored to be here. And in your name I pray, amen. So today we're still going to continue about giving from the heart. And this is something that's really dear to my heart because giving is something that's not really, it's like an innate thing. Like you learned it from, I mean, when you're growing up, you see your parents sharing their love in different kinds of ways, in many ways actually. Not, the, not just through the immediate family, but even others, your you know, neighbors, your cousins, you know, those people around you. And you see how much they give. Give in, in a sense, just not just money, but giving a hand, lending a hand to those who are in need. And you sometimes they don't even expect anything in return. But you know, the Lord knows our hearts and He will reward you when you know that He is doing it as unto him. Amen. So our foundational scripture today is still on Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 to 8. Again, it's on Galatians 6, 7 to 8. And I read, uh, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For, for whatever a man sows, that he will also re reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life amen so this is not me talking this is jesus talking through his word this is in galatians he says do not be deceived god is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap Amen. So, you cannot fool God. Whatever you're sowing, you're going to reap it. And if you sow sparingly, you will also reap sparingly. But if you sow um, abundantly, the Lord will bless you more and more than what you can ever imagine. Amen. So, giving from the heart. When you give, it will, give in, it will be given back to you. Like pressed down, shaken together, running over. Amen. So as a child of God, when you give, especially if you give through the, for the ministry, for the work of the kingdom of God, you can never outgive him. You can never outgive God. And you don't even have to share with anyone what you're doing in the kingdom of God. It's not just through your finances, through your time, your goods, whatever it may be, even through like cleaning the church. Little things that you do for his kingdom. You're not doing it as unto men, but you're doing it as unto God. So the Lord sees your heart. And the Lord knows what you're doing. If you have any ulterior mo motive for doing that, the Lord knows it too. And you will reap what you've sowed. Amen. And even those non-believers, they even know the concept of sowing. Reap, when you sow a seed, you will also reap the fruit of your har and harvest. Amen. So you cannot deceive God. Amen. When you give from when you give anything that you do 
It has to come from your heart. Amen. God knows everything. He has created us. So whatever it is that you think you're doing and you have any ulterior motive, stop. The Lord knows your heart. Amen. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit Will the Spirit reap everlasting life? Amen. So before you do anything, or you thought of doing something good for somebody, maybe for your immediate family, or for the church, or for the ministry, or for your workplace, whatever it may be, before you do something, think about it and pray about it. Pray as the Lord leads you. Amen. You don't want to waste your resources or sowing your seed in, not in a good ground, amen. But if you sow a seed in OCN, Open Door Communication Network, and All Nations Living Fountains Church, it is a good ground to sow your seed. This is God's network amen he's using this media to those who are willing to be his vessels to preach the good news amen so as a child of god i want you whoever wherever you are it's not an accident or coincidence that you're watching this tel this pro programming right now amen the lord knows your heart and the lord knows your needs and it's up to you to yield to him to sow in his kingdom. Amen. God is so faithful. He is still the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Amen. He has never changed. So when you sow a seed for his kingdom, just know that you will reap your har harvest more than what you have sown. Amen. Because when you sow a seed in, his, in God's kingdom, you will never regret it. Like you know, in the next week, actually in a couple of weeks, less than a couple of weeks, Bishop Nikki Ogamba and the mission team were traveling to the Philippines. And we have so many needs. You know, we're going to different places, different villages, different cities to preach the good news. And it cost money to share the good news. Amen. To preach the gospel. And we're going to different places. We're going to Legaspi City, where we will have, um, Bishop will have meeting with the pastors to bless them and encourage them so that, so that they can reach out to more souls in different areas of the Philippines and Legaspi City, amen. And we're also going to Sorsogon, where I'm from, and we're doing a lot of things in that town, and we have a lot of um, churches in the Philippines with our senior pastor, Pastor Ray, and, you know, um, we're blessed to have them as part of All Nations Family, amen, All Nations Church. And we are seeing fruits, amen. We are sowing seed in his kingdom, but in return, we're reaping multiple souls, snatching as many souls from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God, amen. And we're also going to minister to the people in jail, in, in the prison, amen. And, you know, we're also giving them hope that they're not being abandoned by the Lord of whatever they did. So we're reaching out to them. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to bless them with the word, and we also want to bless them physically with food. Amen. And also we're going to different orphanages in the Philippines. I believe we have at least three or four orphanages that we adopted, and we partner with the former mayor in, the Phil in, in Sorsogon, actually. And we share goods we ship out goods to them and we adapt the you know the the orphanages 
and we pledge to send them goods every three months, you know, all those uh, non-perishable goods, clothing, food, shoes, um, school supplies, uh, medications, amen, and we just wanted to bless them as the Lord leads us. And we're also going to have medical outreach to uh, one of the villages, and we want to, you know, reach out to the, through them, through medical mission, you know, provide them with basic medical care, and we have nurses traveling with us as well in the name of Jesus. So we give them like, you know, free physical checkup and may, maybe some medications, vitamins for the children and adults and elderly in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're reaching out to them. So we, we want to let them know that they're not being forgotten. Then the Lord has sent us, his uh, children, to reach out to those who are in need and who needs to know Christ to give them hope. Amen. That they are also special and they are loved. So we're extending the love of Christ by doing that. Amen. And there's so many things. We're also doing some um, youth ministry where we gather all the um, mu music ministry from different uh, churches and we come together as one and we praise the Lord, worship Him. Uh, uh, to the audience of one and we also want to bless those children amen and in the orphanages that we go to we um we want to encourage those children that we want them to feel that they're not being neglected amen in the name of jesus that they're also special in the eyes of god so all those things cost money and i'm asking you to partner with us here in ocn network also with All Nations Living Fountains Church and World Outreach Center through the um, leadership of our bishop, Bishop Nikki Ogamba. And this is a good ground to start. If you don't know it yet, this is a good ground to, to sow your seed in any amount or goods that you can share with us. Amen. It's not just Philippines that <coughs> we... Um, we support amen we have multiple churches around the nations of the world we have in we have egypt as well we have <laughs> in nigeria in liberia uh you know we have in uh what is the other um pastor david congo uh i know we have a lot of churches in in africa west africa and in egypt I, I, we have a new church in egypt as well and you know that the lord is um so faithful that the church is growing so it was just it's just an honor to be used by god in the name of jesus just i'm i'm really i'm honored to be here as well talking about this sharing sharing testimonies of what the lord is doing in in all nations church and in ocn um Christian television station. So I want you to partner with us. It is something that no money can buy, and it is something that I know that the Lord will bless you and will grant you all the, de all the desires of your heart just by sowing a seed. You know, you can never outgive God. When the Lord touched your heart and when you sow your seed in this good soil, amen, you know that whatever it is, challenges, physical challenges in your body, right? Maybe your pa ailing uh, parents, they're, you know, elderly already, they age, and they may have physical challenges in their bodies. And you're praying that the Lord will heal them, and you know that the Lord already de did. But, you know, you just sow that special seed in His kingdom, and you know that that money that you're, sowing or whatever it is that you're sowing it may be in the finances or goods that you're sowing in his kingdom you know that the lord will bless you more and more amen like it says here you cannot god cannot be deceived god cannot be mocked he knows our heart and he has created us so you need to sow your seed in this good ground amen god is really faithful he has done so many things in our lives. You know, there's a story in the Bible about this um, woman. Mm, he actually, um, he said, he, he, she confessed 
that her and her son, she's going to make um, a meal that was going to be their last meal. And after that, um, they're going to die. But the Lord sent a prophet to their way that in the natural, the prophet said, you know, you make a meal, you know, with the flour and the oil. So you can bake that uh, cake or special bread. And after you make it, whatever, the first thing that you made after you cook or you bake that bread, you give it to me first and then to, your, to you and your son. And the woman said, don't you hear what I said? I'm, this is, I mean, we're poor and this is the last thing that we have. So why are you asking me to, you know, <laughs> make this for you, for my son, and for myself? But you know what? I thank God that that woman was sensitive enough to listen to the Holy Spirit. She listened. She obeyed the Word of God. So obedience is better than sacrifice. And after she, you know, she made that meal and baked that cake or that, that bread, and gave it to the prophet, you know what? That woman and her son actually prospered. Amen. And they probably become like the, a business tycoon in their community because she sowed that seed. So I'm not saying that, you know, that's, I mean, it could happen to you. Who knows? <laughs> God knows, not me. God knows. Um, you could sow a seed in someone else's life. You know, when someone is in need, you'll never know what, they're, what anyone else is going through. People, wherever you are, you know, in your workplace, maybe in, in the bank, or in the grocery store, or in a bus stop, or you're just probably walking in, um, let's just say, in a park, and you meet people there. You don't know what people are going through in their lives. Every day they're, they're carrying some kind of burdens and challenges. And maybe some of them are heavier than others. And maybe some of them are carrying those burdens in, for so many years. As you say, maybe 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, or maybe longer. And you, sowing that seed of kindness, just giving them a smile or Maybe just a, 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 a sentence or a word or a phrase. You said, you know, good morning, how are you doing today? Or you just gave them a smile. Or maybe you just gave them, you just maybe uttered the word, say, oh, Jesus loves you. Or someone cares for you. You made someone, you brightened someone else's day. It's a seed of, of kindness. Those little things. Or maybe... You know someone, I mean, maybe you don't know someone. You were talking to, you may be at a workplace and someone else there doesn't have any gas money or doesn't have, even have lunch, doesn't have money to even buy something for lunch or a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something. And you are led to like, you know, come on, let's go get something for lunch. They didn't verbalize it to you, but in your heart, like you have that urge to help that person, right? And you said, oh, come on, let's go ahead and, you know, I'll, I'll pay you your meal for during our lunch break. And you did that. And, and you don't know that that person really doesn't have anything. They, maybe they don't have money in their pocket. Like they're like down to zero or maybe negative in their accounts. And you just sowed that seed of kindness. And you made that, you sowed that seed of kindness in that person. You don't know how you made that first person feel that day. So that's sowing a seed of kindness. Amen? That's a seed and you know it will come back to you more than you can ever imagine. Amen? And even those, maybe those who are unemployed, or maybe those, be, not because they want to be unemployed, maybe because they have a, a criminal history or background or some ugly things that they have in the past when they were younger. And for some reason, it's still in their records, and they couldn't get a job. They could not get employed. But maybe you know someone who, could who needs help, who could help that person. You could give them a referral, right? Like, you know, you can refer this person. This person's character is this and that. 
And then you just send them to that place and they gave them that opportunity to be employed and to work again and to make money. And it is a soul, I mean, you're sowing a seed of kindness, amen? It's like I remember when I was talking to Bishop a few days ago. Oh, no, no, uh, maybe a few days ago. And I was sharing with her about, you know, when Jesus was still here on earth, how he walked around and reach out to those people who are really in need, those that the society does not want to accept because, you know, of their status, they don't have money, they're sick, they're dirty, they're homeless, whatever it may be. And I, I told Bishop, Bishop, you know, when, when Jesus was still here on earth, he was busy reaching out to those who are in need. He was actually physically going to those places and to those people who are in need, in desperate need. And those that people, the people that are not accepted in our community, in the, in the quote unquote social norms, right? And as I'm reflecting to that, like how do you sow that seed of kindness? You know that Jesus died in the cross for us and we have been forgiven for all our sins, all our debts has been paid, amen. And Jesus, Jesus paid it all in the cross at Calvary. Just thinking about how special we are to God, every single one of us, believers and unbelievers, Jesus loves every single one of us. And there's no exception to that. He loves us no matter what what we are, what we've done. He has forgiven us for the past, present, and future sins. Amen. How much more us as, a, as, as children of God, we should be imitating him and sowing that seed of kindness, reaching out your hands, our hands, to those who are in need, especially those who has no more hope. Like this, it, to them, this is my last meal to them. I'm going to die today. To them, that it, that's it. I don't have any hope to get married. I don't have any hope to get employed. You know, I don't have any hope to have family or to have my own children. I don't have any more hope to, you know, reconcile with, you know, whoever, with my, my families that I had problem, challenges w with in the past. But you know what? There's always hope because Jesus is still alive. Amen. He died and rose again. Amen. And he's still sitting the, at the throne. Amen. And we are his children. And it's our turn to reach out to those people who doesn't know Christ yet. Or maybe they know Christ, but they are backsliding. So we need to reach out to them. Sow that seed of kindness. Amen. Because we really cannot deceive him. So we, we give from our heart as we sow that seed of kindness. Amen. And the Lord knows our heart. He's not looking at our pocketbooks or, our, or how much money we have in our account. He's looking in our, in our hearts. Amen. That's the most important thing that he looks at. He looks at the heart of the people. And he wants to, he wants us to snatch as many souls in the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. It really is just a joy to be used by him that way. Us going to different nations and you know, birthing souls, multiples of souls in God's kingdom. That's an honor to be used by him that way. So, again, it is not a coincidence that you are tuned into this programming. You know, OCN is a good soil to sow your seed with all nations Living Fountains Church and World Outreach Center, the ministers, the chosen ones 
who willingly obey the call in our lives to go and preach the good news to all the ends of the earth. And God is always with us to do that. We're just willing vessels. And we're asking you to partner with us so we can reach out to more souls in all parts of the world. Amen. So again, thank you for watching OCN, your 24-hour Christian television station. This is your host, Minister Catherine, for the program called OCN. Until next time, shalom.